I took the last one. Though. Okay. Can you wipe your bum or do you need help? Help. I blanked. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Hello, it's Marissa from Marissa Mom. Joined here with Tavon. <laughs> Why is that so awkward? <laughs> if you're new, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you are not yet a subscriber and you want to keep up with our family, I upload a new video every single Friday. Like? What? Like? <laughs> like and subscribe. Oh my goodness. Because subscribe is kind of a hard word. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Today's video is a Q&A earlier this week. Uh, you guys sent in some questions over Instagram that you wanted us to answer. So huge thank you to everyone that did send those questions in. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go right into it. My eyes are gonna be like red by the time I do this. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. Up. So we are going to get into it. Alright, so the first question is how long have you guys been together? We've been together for mm, <laughs> eight years, nine years. It's eight years. Eight, yeah. Yeah, because Mondo turns 10 this year. My dog, yeah. Where did we meet? So we actually ran track together at the University of Virginia. That's my hometown. <laughs> but he just happened to like go there for football in Regina and then got hurt in his first year. Damn. Put it all up, man. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I got hurt, so I decided to uh, join the track team, get a little speed, then she started hitting on me in the back. I'm not gonna go further into it, but <laughs> it's not even how it was at all. <laughs> okay, he was a rookie. I was in my third year, so like I did barely even talk to him. To be honest, I wasn't even there for your first day. I had a night class. I showed up like I think you must have came on the Tuesday, and then I came on Wednesday because I had class Tuesday, and I was like, who is this person? <laughs> Anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then we became best friends. So next question, what was your first jobs? Or like, where have you worked? My first job was at Winners. I worked there pretty much since I was 16 until probably like 20. And then I worked at Suzy Shear. And then I worked at Metal Smith Sterling, which is a jewelry company. I did track coaching as well in between that. Oh, and I guess I worked as a personal trainer, like after school. And I, <laughs> okay, I had so oh, many. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. This is this girl's major. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I worked as a personal trainer uh, back in Saskatchewan and in Ontario. And I also worked for the city, um, just in like the parks department. So like cutting grass and stuff. And that was like a summer job. But yeah, that's for me. Not your turn. <laughs> Hustling, bro. I was slinging. <laughs> um. <sighs> All right. So um, my first job was telemarketing for Bank of America back in uh, Scarborough. My sister actually kind of set me up with a job and then my aunt she also she knew the supervisor there got me the job after that i quit there i worked uh for a kids camp for my coach bubba pretty much you watch kids from ages 6 to 12 i believe and we just had a camp had fun played did camp things when i uh, moved to regina my third job i got was at a body shop, auto body shop for uh, Larry Mueller, one of our quarterbacks' uh, dad, actually. He was a coach <laughs> on the team and he uh, hooked me up with a job there. And um, my fourth job, I got a job at Safeway Grocery Store in Regina. And then I was like a night manager, pretty much took and received orders, made new orders. Which and I don't even know how you got that. <laughs> I, listen, <laughs> I don't know either, but <laughs> they definitely they gave it to me. I worked at a lot of kids camps during uh, my tenure in <laughs> Regina. Oh yeah, I did that too. Yeah, the play escapes, yeah. and my time. Yeah. And then there was an after school program. So a lot of my jobs were really working with kids and <laughs> after school programs and just kids getting kids in sports, getting kids active and kids playing. And then I worked at Run Jump Throw, which is like a track program where you go to different schools. I worked that for a little bit, not a lot. I also worked at a golf course. Oh yeah. And for the city, which was that was that was a fun time, I'm not gonna lie. 
That's how I got into it. Yeah, because yeah, the... I worked there and I, yeah. you know, hooked her up with a job. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me the manager for nothing. But <laughs> yeah, I rode around on mowers, cutting grass, cutting teas, and having fun. I also worked doing um, construction in the summer. We did framing and also did renovation jobs. Funny story is my first job that I applied for was actually at McDonald's, which I got denied. So thank you, McDonald's, for that. <laughs> <laughs> the glow up. Yeah, the glow up, for real. <laughs> Like, then obviously became a freshman mile late after yeah, that. No, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't cool jobs. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, no one cares about that. How do you sit up so right? I feel like I'm not. I feel like my shoulders are straight. Yeah, no, I lied to you. Yeah, like, I'm not very posture. Should I think back like this? <laughs> yeah, you look. <laughs> 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 kind of look like a robot with, like, what? light up eyes. Nah. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Like every streamer with a uh, ring light behind them. That's true, with glasses. Okay, yeah. okay I don't have glasses. I wouldn't know. Um, are you planning on extending your family uh, with either more pets or kids? So, <laughs> 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 who's going to answer this one? So, with our son, we kind of had plans to wait until he started school before like doing any extending of the family because once he started school, we were planned to be like settled down, which I guess now we are. So we're open to extending our family, I guess. It's not a yes, not a no. Um, we've actually been looking at cats. So we do want to get a cat for sure. Uh, he was thinking about another dog, but I'd rather get a cat instead of a dog. Just because we already have a dog. I was thinking of both. To get, <laughs> set the little story straight. My cats are my thing, so. <laughs> That's true, yeah, okay. He wants a cat for sure, mm -hmm. but he also wants a dog. I don't know, because even for me, like before with the child situation, I was like, I can travel with one child, like it's fine for me and Elijah to travel, but I don't want to be traveling with two kids because <laughs> that just seems stressful, like by myself especially. But yeah, we're open to it. And that's really it, to extending our family. All right, moving on from that uh, long-winded question. Um, how did Swan get hurt? How did I break my arm <laughs> in a billion pieces? <laughs> Yeah. No, it was a clean <laughs> fracture. I uh, I got hurt on our last game, in the last quarter. <laughs> bitter, bitter, I feel like bitter. I jinxed that too. So yeah. I made well, oh, I made a YouTube video. You don't get hurt. No, I made a YouTube oh. video. And, and on top of that, coming out of it healthy. And it was literally like right before your last game. I think I released a video on the Friday, and your game was on the Sunday. You definitely jinxed it. Though. Anytime we like plan something or say something, like the opposite happens. No, I think you just jinxed me. That's crazy. I'm your good luck charm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it was like a it was a run play. I was down the field covering my receiver against Kansas City and I turn around and the guy, the ball's already thrown, the guy's running, and I'm kind of the last line of defense. I jump for the tackle and as I'm swinging forward, he's jumping forward and kind of knee slash shinned my forearm and snapped it. Mind you, it was also freezing cold that day, so that might have played a, a part in the break. I think that's probably a, a big part. Cause yeah, it's like you got hit in the arm all the time, I all know. season. I know. And a lot of people were getting injured that game. I, my arm didn't snap. And so when that happened, I always like notice when Tavon's on the field and when he's off and he wasn't on the field for a while. I think it was the announcers that said something like, oh, Tavon Campbell's out. Cause there was someone else in. So then Tavon's mom called me right away. <laughs> she was like, Tavon's hurt. I was like, yeah, and she's like, what happened? I was like, I don't know, they didn't say anything, but I was like, I think it's when he was probably diving for the tackle because he hasn't been in since then. And yeah, that's when it was. Yeah, I didn't even know it was broken, to be honest. I kind of got <laughs> back up and tried to continue to play, but my arm was throbbing. And I thought it was just like a Charlie horse, so I'm like, ah, oh, it'll go away, the next play's coming. But one of our players actually got hurt on the same play. So it was a timeout, injury timeout, and. I kind of looked at the sideline and I, I told JB to come in for me because my arm's still throbbing. Went to the <laughs> sideline, uh, talked to the doctor because they came running over and I'm like, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm just, my arm's throbbing. So he was checking on my arm. He's like, okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong. Can you squeeze? So I tried to squeeze and there was no pressure and he's like, yeah, okay, we're going to have to go take some x-ray. So had to go in the back. X-ray showed that it was broken in half and <laughs> was out ever since. Fourth quarter. <laughs> <laughs> so he almost made it a full season. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Without getting hurt. Jinx me. 
<laughs> I'm never saying anything again. No, not, like 2021 <laughs> season, you will not see me talk about him playing football in the video. Question for me is, are you still training slash doing track? And the answer is no. Um, last year was a bit different of a year for us. It was just really hard to find time to do track. Like I still work out and everything, but track takes a lot of time and commitment to do and especially when you have a child i guess it was just time for me to move on from that um, even before i told myself that i want to do at least you know one two years just to see what i could do after having a child i never wanted to look back and be like man i wish i would have tried at least um and i feel like i tried he would support me no matter what if i chose to do track or if i chose not to <laughs> so it was nothing to do with him just ready to move on pass it on to elijah exactly yeah he's our little protege now he loves running and stuff okay, so next question is how are you handling the lockdown slash online learning <laughs> <laughs> honestly i mean Okay, the teachers are awesome. They are trying their best, but with a five-year-old, it's very hard. Imagine trying to FaceTime your pet <laughs> dog and have him sit there for an hour with all, and he's a puppy, <laughs> and listen to a teacher talk. It's impossible. That ain't it. We'll have to literally be sitting at the table with him, and most of the time I'm just telling him, like, Lige, watch listen to your teacher put that down like one time he was like turned around backwards i'm like oh, i turned forward <laughs> like <laughs> he's not into it but it is good because we get to see the other kids and how the teachers interact with the kids and like that's why i said the teachers are awesome um and i know like in school they're also really good and then it's just interesting to see his classmates too because with covid we can't do any of that type of stuff like we can't go into the classroom and there wasn't a Christmas concert and all that. So you don't really get to see the kids and their different personalities. But you definitely do on the virtual learning. Yeah, we're, we're making it work. Hopefully our region gets to go back to school soon. There's not a lot of cases in um, the town that we're living in. So fingers crossed. There's only so many mom watch that I can really like put up with. So the next question that Dawn's been dreading me asking. So we get asked this question all the time and we've got asked it a few times in the questions as well. But do you want to get engaged anytime soon or will there be any wedding bells anytime soon? I don't know. No, Thanks for coming back. Hey, no problem. But no, but seriously, um, of course, down the road, we do. Uh, our relationship works how it is. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's yeah, saying, that's the yeah. saying, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so one day we will. Um, we're just in no rush to do it. Uh, we've even like talked about like, I want to say eloping. I guess eloping would be the word. We just like, we'll just go get married. But Eloping? We're grown ass adults. Adults can elope, can't they? Oh, where are you eloping from? <laughs> Who's not accepting your marriage? <laughs> I thought that's all it means. I thought that just meant like you just go and do it. Like no, I thought that was like a... I guess it kind of sounds like escaping. Yeah. And everyone's going to be like, these guys are not smart. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah always calls me Mama Campbell anyways. So <laughs> he's like mind blown that I have a different last name. <laughs> so we'll see. Next question. So when is Tavon going to give up football and follow his dreams to become a carpenter? I thought it was another marriage question. <laughs> <laughs> follow his dreams and get married. Tavon's <laughs> <laughs> been doing uh, just some home renovations around the house. Uh, well, as much as he can do with one hand. Now that that's off, he can do a little bit more. Pretty much just trying to change up the floors, the counters. A lot, actually. We're trying to do a lot. And, it's uh, like it's like small things, yeah. but yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it adds yeah, it adds up to a lot of things, and just been getting a lot of guidance from Tyler, who also does construction and renovations, and Sebi. He's also one of my old coaches for Toronto Thunder, and he's been kind of putting me on some guys around the city because he does a lot of construction around Toronto and has his own shows on HGTV. So he's been a good help in that. Yeah, I'm trying to get this house a makeover so what i want to do is do like kind of before and afters or do like a home tour because not a lot of people have seen our house we haven't really like 
put it out there but i do get a lot of questions about it um because i post a lot of stuff on snapchat last year was more just figuring out the house now we're more on like the inside but yeah i'm a jack of all trades listen i could do i can do it all <laughs> what you need <laughs> see this painting oh yeah he's super proud of that painting <laughs> yeah he's done quite a bit so i do want to do an updated video like i said um i'll like go through the house and show some stuff we've done oh my god <laughs> Hey, yo! <laughs> There's no more questions? No, that's it. That is it for our video today. I do have a lot of plans for us in the future for videos. We're gonna do some challenges. Really it, <laughs> I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I basically got a bunch, but we're gonna do some challenges. This girl said, yeah, I have a lot. <laughs> Scratch that. Get that out. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> got some games. Um, yeah, which I win at. Mm. Some a, food challenges. Given, which I win at. It's a competitive household. Let's say that. <laughs> yeah, even Elijah will probably get involved. And he's like the worst loser of all of us. Oh, and he's going to lose. Because <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to be me. <laughs> Some parents like to let their kids win at things, not us. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, if I can win, I'll win it. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be back with a brand new video next week. Was I supposed to do something? <laughs> <laughs> Bye.